Hello everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I have something quite special to share with you guys. This is going to be a first ever prototype that I am checking out. So this is actually from a brand new micro company. Hopefully one day it'll be a very well-known company. This is Sage Knives started by Work Knife Balance. Steven over there, um, I got with him and asked him if I can check out his prototype. He has a wonderful, wonderful looking design. It looks like it's going to be a pretty large knife, honestly. Um, I come up uh, kind of on the fence of larger knives. I like using smaller to medium sized knives, but it looked pretty cool. It is on Kickstarter. I am backer number two, and I'm very proud of that. I tried to be number one, but couldn't uh, get there in time. Um, so I got the premium version of this, but he told me that this is going to be a budget version. So that's pretty cool. I'm assuming this guy is around the hundred dollar price point. I can't remember off the top of my head, but we're going to go ahead and get this opened. My carry today at work. Uh, today is my last day working and I get to start my weekend, which is good because I don't feel comfortable taking this to work just in case of anything. Uh, I would rather take, you know, this to work instead of this because this does not belong to me. Uh, but I did just go bulk grocery shopping and I got a lot, a lot of cardboard to go through. I'm assuming this has been through a good bit of people's hands already. Uh, since many channels have shown off this cool design. Um, so it may not have much of an edge left. I don't know. Who knows? We'll figure this out together. So what is this? Let me see this card real quick. Just want to make sure there's no important information on there. Just in case. Uh, Kickstarter is live from the 13th of this month. So yeah, it's already live. Okay, so from what I remember, he told me he sent the pro, uh, the budget one, or is this an actual, oh yes, yes. This is, this is the budget one. So it's G10 and 14C28N, that's the blade material that they're going with. Which is nice, nice, all right. All right, looks kind of funky, right? Oh, also a little sticker, this is a nice sticker. And I really like this one because I'm kind of running out of room on my table here, but I do have space on the very edge of the table, so this will forever be on the sticker slash drink mixing table. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get it close look at this i have no idea what that is assuming that's some sort of maker's mark right there but yeah i really like this kind of like almost like a chaotic spider web looking kind of pattern uh just kind of all over the place looks funky it's very different from a lot of the stuff that uh, has definitely come out this year so we have kind of like this giant <laughs> flipper tab i really do enjoy that the jimping has gone all the way around for the most amount of traction and everything feels nicely knocked down it's not sharp or anything i don't know how close this is going to be to production but this feels good right up here this feels nice Jimping also all the way around on the flipper tab. Correlation to the pivot. It's a little bit lower, but not a big deal. And there is a fuller. So we can, you know what? Let's just, let's do, let's, let's just go through the plethora of deployment methods and check it out. Yeah, okay, so that's definitely on the lighter side. Nice lockup. This is a stainless steel inset lock there large holes for weight relief i like that so little steel standoffs this hardware is that t8 that's t8 that's pretty cool and then for the pocket clip damn i don't know you know what let me check real quick tools where are you Alrighty. 
Sorry for all the racket. Let's get a little Weeha bit set. That was not supposed to happen. All right. That's a T7. This is a T6. Let's just check that out. Of course, the utmost safety displayed on this channel. Just having an open blade flopping around. What is going on? Wait. Yes, those are T6. May change, may not change. Wouldn't surprise me if it stays the same, but it's two pieces of hardware that you're not going to be interacting with much. And there is a space milled for lefties, so that's wonderful. The actual clip itself, it looks very similar to how Civivi does to their clips. Nice and slender. Should go in and out of the pocket just fine. Disengagement. Holy crap. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay, it's just the tiniest, tiniest little bit of up and down. Side to side, this thing's cranked down all the way. Dude, are you serious? Wow. All right, all right, hold on. So detent right there. It's on the face of the blade now. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Now, this might need to be tuned just a tiny, tiny bit, pushing, flexing the liner over a little bit to help with the tiniest little bit of rock. Let's check if there's any pivot lash. Dude, that is good to go. I like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I am so excited for my premium one. Now, the premium one, I believe, is a, is a full frame lock, so things are going to be a little bit stiffer, but... If it's half of what this is, I am going to be more than happy. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I really like it. That's cool. Now, the flipper tab does get in the way a little bit. And I've been hearing from a lot of other channels that they kind of had the same little nitpick. Uh, a lot of people have been talking a lot of good about this thing. And finally, I'm able to check this out. I wanted to check this out a while back, but honestly, I'm very inconsistent when it comes to having the free time to make content. Of course, this is just for fun. I don't really get a whole lot out of it. But um, when Work Knife Balance started his channel, um, he's grown quite quickly, which is awesome. It's super cool to see that. And just the friendliness and the kindness of this community has definitely welcomed a new designer. And... Uh, I'm very excited for my premium one. All right, all right. Let's check if there's any detent lash. Yeah, there's a little bit there. I'm not expecting perfection, right? This is, of course, just a prototype. And for what it is at the moment, this is still pretty darn sweet. So I will be linking down the Kickstarter. And if he does actually have an official website, I'm not 100% sure. Definitely, definitely go check out his channel, Work Knife Balance. And he also has an Instagram too, so definitely give him a follow for sure. Let's check out that edge. It looks pretty darn good. I like it, I like it. Beautiful stone washing. I hope that translates to uh, production. Nice, nice. It's not hollow, it's flat, but it's relatively tall super super low sheep's foot modified sheep's foot right let's test the edge oh oh yeah that is good wonderful oh yeah i'm gonna have a good bit of fun with this thing that is sweet I do like that the f because this thing has ridiculous action um, because of you know the lighter detent mainly, but this thing does feel like it's built quite well, honestly. Um, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this thing, honestly, but um, I do like that the flipper tab does keep the blade from just completely chopping my thumb off. That's pretty nice. I'd like to have my thumb. Uh, Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> I'm going to be playing with that a whole lot, that's for sure. So let's check out the ergonomics. Nice jimping back here. Underneath the flipper tab, um, it does kind of feel like I'm being pushed down since the flipper tab is canted down a little bit. Um, dang. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and say that when I get my premium one, I'm probably going to uh, do a flipper tab delete. I know a lot of people love flippers because it's probably one of the best deployment methods for somebody who's using gloves, whether, you know, you're doing hard construction work or you're doing stuff, you know, outside in the yard. Um, you know, definitely flipper tab is going to be one of the most reliable deployment methods but I don't do crazy hard work like that. Um, I work in like a warehouse and, you know, retail setting. So, and then while I do garden stuff here and there, uh, you know, I'm usually barehanded, so I don't really mind it so much. But uh, yeah, that's really my only critique, my one and only critique. I think this thing, while it looks kind of funky, it's unique, it's special. Um, and that's about it. The ergonomics are wonderful. The cutting geometry, the blade shape, all of the different deployment methods, they are incredible in their own right, of course. And yeah, this, they nailed it for sure. For sure. I love the jimping all over. And those fullers, they're not jagged. They are very well finished and they're crisp enough to reliably flick off of so that is super sweet i definitely like that so again check out the kickstarter it's for the premium one it is oh, what was it it was 185 dollars for the premium one this one again i'm not 100 percent sure how much it was but the premium one is a frame lock and titanium with the same uh, pattern here on the scales and it's in CPM 20 CV. So that's all the information that I know at the moment. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. I know I definitely did. It's super cool to see, uh, you know, just, a, just something new in the hobby for sure. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much. I most definitely appreciate all your guys' support and patience, of course. If you are not subscribed, consider subscribing because I have plenty more content coming your guys' way. And with that being said, have a wonderful rest of your day.